did a moment ago, but nice pressure. Stream. Stream a bit, going for the max up here. Cation build. I'm just a little sure what skill level you go for, but this one will give the best ability for us to turn off. Bottom lane, though, always one on flat, is taking down to the Flame Spirits, and it is going to be version who gets the first blood. He can also get to take a little bit of harass. I think they're very happy, though, with that kill and the support. We'll get too greedy here. But some harass, and the Dream Coil does get used over in the uh, river as Roger does tank it up. But now Iceberg, no one's trying to plink away a little bit. They'll get the double Nova off, try to slow. Go, use the Illusory Orb. I don't think that Puck really wants to show up there. Suneko, again, tossed up into the air. It's just a matter of time. Who's gonna get it? It's gonna be Iceberg because the body blocks are coming out from Roger and they take their time in hitting that Crystal Maiden. Yeah, nicely done. Uh, I'm not sure why they were unable to get the kill with the Dream Coil. Maybe a little bit scared about Spike Carapace or something, but um, yeah. Another kill, evening things up. There's some pressure on the Phoenix bottom, though. Well, he's fine. He's got a curse die. Doesn't even use it. Doesn't even use it. Look Times. at that. TP bottom from Tiny in a good position here. Yes, Maybe he is. Away. Yep. They've got the avalanche. They're looking, waiting oh, no. here. No, not going to be able to go and toss back just yet. The jump board, though, coming out from B2 and Afterlife going. And there's the toss up, and they do manage to burst down Afterlife. Top lane. Oh, Ramses is just tanking the Omni Slash. The opportunity presented itself, and Dream took it, so. Found a nice pick off in the bottom lane, but uh, they did end up losing the off laner here. And giving a kill over to Gore. Really surprised Jug was able to get a kill there. I thought uh, Ramses would be able to out kill just about everything, but he's mm -hmm. got more life sets now by about 10 or 15, so. That's a big moment for, for AS Monaco Gaming. Good Silence, Dream Quo gets you. Suneko is here, so this time around, they will be able to get the kill on Roger. Top Iceberg sitting top. Still no Blink Dagger, about 200 away. No one is creeping his way over. Does walk right into the Tiny, and they have the follow-up this time around. With that Silence, they're gonna try to buy a little bit more time. The Avalanche comes through, and the Guardian Angel, nice. but not quite enough to save him as Immersion finds kill. And now Iceberg is should be able to... Uh, oh, oh, he... Nice. <laughs> oh boy. He's out. Woo. Yeah, the Dream Coil was effective, but the Avatos was able to catch the Phoenix as he dove in. Um, they ended up killing the Phoenix. No, he wasn't six yet, so no egg was possible. We had the uh, big ulti there, absolutely saving uh, Tiny's life. And while Ramses died, the Dream Coil, lots of nukes and silence as well. He couldn't react quite yet, but the heal first with the Heavenly Grace and the ulti, more than enough to offset the damage output, so he just TPs away. Frostbite's gone at that point, and uh, yeah, just ends up being Ramsey's sacrifice himself. That was in the so lobby close. And his wife, Ruth. It's possible. Dream Coil's gonna get used though again over on the Nyx Assassin. He's silenced. Couple more clicks. They buy a little bit of time there, but the spin coming out from Dream will ensure that he goes down elsewhere. In fact, he's going top, and he is gonna run into this Phoenix. And he has V-Tune also here. They'll open up and data with the Impale follow-up. They do have an Ice Blast, but doesn't quite connect. The Spike Carapace, though, will slow down Immersion. And I don't think they have quite enough damage here, as it looks like now. No, they're just on the back foot. They're trying to run away. Can they find V-Tune in time, though, is the question. No, he's going to be able to go a little bit more. Ramsey's, though, left behind here. Egg is going to come out. Roger turning around. He starts to give a couple of these clicks off. Not going to be able to do anything. Oh, Ramsey's, though, with the Guardian Engine. It's not enough. Dream collects the kill, Egg goes off on the back lines. Roger, just one little Roger alone can't take down an Egg. Kind of weird for Roger. And he has not felt quite as strong as I was hoping he would be, considering his start here. He's gonna break smoke on Immersion, though. Mm -hmm. And forward over onto Iceberg with the Silence. They go, they use the Dream Coil to stop here from Afterlife, the spin to boot. Iceberg will fall. You know that happens sometimes when you walk high ground and with the ward there that he thought that he was going to be up for lack of trying. Iceberg has been trying to get killed, but it's <laughs> he his has. opponents are just shutting it down with a uh, you know, nice rotation. Smoke breaks. This is looking Smoke breaks. Good. The jump on the back line, though, with the silence. Always want to fly. We'll fall, but over on the side. Roger getting tossed up. We'll land on Suneko. They'll find the kill. The dagger. Icarus dive coming up for the Phoenix as he goes in over onto the high ground. Great positioning for this egg. Dream Cross going to land over onto two, though, as Iceberg tries to run away. The egg will indeed pop. Iceberg still alive, trying to bottle through. Eventually, he will fall to Dream as the hunt is on now from Monaco Gambit. They're looking to grab any sort of stragglers, but they're not quite finding anyone as they do manage to snap up a regen rune over onto V-Tune, and the rest of them just trying to leave. And they definitely can fight, potentially get a kill. I like this. He's farming towards his his ward. That way, if he sees his opponents, he can jump on them. Like, he definitely could kill Phoenix right now, for example. 
Especially when the ice blast lands like that. But there is a puck nearby. Snakeos here as well. That'll be the jump forward. They want to just get rid of Immersion. They'll be able to do it. Stomp coming out, though. Perhaps they've just gotten a bit too greedy as V2 has to go. Jump over to Roger. They need to be able to sh close this gap. As you can see, the puck trying his best. Trying to do some body block. Not going to be able to do it. As they do manage to see Roger. More body blocks coming out. They've got the freeze. They've got the vision. They've got the dust on top of that. The leap forward from Afterlife. And down goes Roger. That could have gone so much worse for V2 in there. I, I, I love that moment where, like, you clear an ancient stack, and that's the exact moment your opponents approach you. So then rather than running for this isn't good. But luckily with that vision, he's able to jump directly on the Phoenix, get that kill after he'd used dive. And then Roger, halfway through this, basically just commits to trying to body block. He starts slapping the Centaur to make sure that he can't blink, mm -hmm. knowing that that disable follow-up is really important. And the line oh. line trouble, though. Yeah, he will fall again. We get another nice Icarus dive over the back line, so. And try, oh, look at the Sunrise doing so much. A snake does fall, Iceberg also going down, and so does Immersion. Roger trying the best he can to throw out the Impales. Not going to be able to quite do it. His afterlife chasing after Ramsey's here. Does land the stomp, the double edge. No one is going to go join back in. And again, these body blocks blocks have been the name of the game here over on the side roger just barely able to crawl away sitting with 60 something hit points it's really hard to play uh, anything that's overly aggressive or dangerous We've got big team fight ultimates they just don't want to get like bursted down like the the, the worry is certainly the stun into burst like this Ooh, that is a great stun into burst no longer have to worry about afterlife joining in as the rest of the team is smoked up behind but don't think they yeah, necessarily yeah they don't want to go in on this so they do have to hmm. i don't think they like that they're losing this but i'm not sure they have a lot of choices perhaps maybe the puck can make a cheeky play See the fire spirit tossed out roger i get front and forward here they get the egg but it's gonna be the uh the, oh wow v2 actually snatching up that aegis egg will go off I see not by Puck to, to kill it, but he ends up dying as a result, so probably not worth the trade, because that's going to buy them 40 more seconds to get map control here, and oh. that's another kill for free. Just trying to get the D-Wards off. What were the chances? Not terrible. They're probably, they're, they're <laughs> respawning, right? There's right. one another over here, but uh, no vision currently. So Afterlife needs to be very, very careful. No one, of course, over on the side, though. They'll Always spot out Roger. Immediately the spike carapace, the stomp forward. No one showing himself, but immediately the response here coming out from Iceberg. The Sunray will be able to clean up over onto Roger. And no one is still alive. He gets off that dream coil. And they do manage to take down Afterlife, but it's not looking super great here on the side for AS Monaco Gambit. Oh, oh, V2 and hoping he can get his hands on no one who's trying very hard. He's trying to sidestep the avalanche. He's still alive, but it's not going to be for much longer. As he blings off into the side, do they have the vision? Do they know? They don't. He, he doesn't get him this time. He's, he's looking for him, but man, he's, he, he read him the first three times. Him dying is just way more realistic, so he's got to be careful. Right. Hmm? More pressure being placed over on the mid tower. Oh boy, all right, Sonego just took one step outside of his base and he just got blown up. Afterlife trying to do some counter initiation here, but they actually commit, they go in. They do have a couple of these little slashes. The Omni Slash just gets tanked by the creeps, which is a bit of a disaster for Dream. It's hoping for a little bit better here. No one's still hiding in the tree line. Went for the Swift, swift Slash first to initiate, yeah. and like feel things out and it looks good. He's like, all right, let's keep slashing. He jumps all the way over to the neutrals instead. Uh, really unfortunate there for him. No one needs to be careful. They do have a sentry ward down, though, so they can see Roger on his way over. Spike Carapace, the fall with the Dream Coil, and just does get popped as they leap immediately over onto Roger, and the Sunray does a decent amount of damage to take him out. And there's a spin coming out from Dream. v Tune had jumped in pretty far there. But not quite going to find any more kills after Roger falls. I'll refill his bottle, that'll help at the very least. But the leap forward immediately. Oof! That is one cooked bird. Basher and the Mindbreaker, actually, the perfect item for, for getting little kills here. All right. Oh, well, Gambit, grouping up a little bit over here on the side. Maybe gonna make a play on V-Tune here to get the stomp, the double edge, the Omni Slash. Oh no, but they have the Guardian Angel. 
Yes, they immediately use the Stampede and run away. They do Dream Coil up Iceberg over here. I'm not sure they want to go hard commitments, but they do. They actually go right back in again. Afterlife was looking for another victim here. Not going to be able to quite find it, though, as he does get frozen in place. And Iceberg, even though they initiated him, it looked so nice. Not enough damage to take down this tiny. Really good choices. Ooh, I thought he was going to lose almost right away, but just kept running. Just kept running, and he ends up staying alive there. Hit by him. Yeah. So, uh, another smoke coming out from the side of Gambit. It feels like they're getting a little desperate. Trying to find just some sort of a pickoff. Trying to find one person that they can actually take out of the equation. A little harder for them to get these solo kills for sure with Puck's items with their other heroes. Oh, we'll try to get the jump on Ramses here. And uh, he's got his own BKB though, so he just immediately pops it, runs away. He's the Heavenly Grace on there as well. Had a glimmer cape, everything to just keep him alive. It was like they were expecting it. Roger. They can't chase on their opponents. Standing side by side here with no one. He's got a lot of information, but no one's already blinked away. He had to read the waning rift there, but he was a little slow. Mm. Ooh, but he walks right back into Roger, yeah. Put a little bit of damage down. Waiting with the spike carapace in case he tries to do anything else. Tricky here. Ice Blast coming in hot. We'll land over onto Dream. Well, wait patiently. No one has already just dipped away as v -tune goes right back to hitting creeps. They're both lineups having a little bit of issues of chain stunning, and as a result, their opponents are getting counterplays. So that's why some of these kills that seem like they're really close to being successful are just being misses. Uh, the AM disc again, mm -hmm. saving Puck's life. It's happened multiple times now. They really clutch pick up, but but again, they're, as a result, they're having damage issues a little bit. They're having burst issues. Jug is not the most conventional for killing solo semi evasive heroes like TA or Omni or whatever else. But uh, they're both still farming. PA way dwarfing uh, the jug now, though. Satanic's finished. He's picked up Titan Sliver as well, so he's got BKB. He's got the Dispel Satanic. He's got tons of status resistance. Looking good for VTune. How do you get your hands on this guy? And then on top of that, you've got Iceberg. who just completed the uh, Assault Curass. This time, it's going to be the Radiant who take the kill on Roche and who also get that Aegis. Agadam Shard takes, picked up. Takes Fano Knives. I mean, we so, saw how strong it was last time. It's DK up really good. Uh, it's going to be great against Centaur and good against Doug too. Mm, they have a haste over on the tiny. Nice wards too, spotting out the movement. The way that they're playing around uh, V2 in there. There's a courier over here at the secret shop. They have to. Die as mid -tower won't last Ooh. Longer. Nope, they'll fortify up the courier. Look at Roger though, he's on the hunt. Waiting, and he just takes, the oh no, those are the blitz That's knuckles, and you know, so takedown always want to fly, at least in the meanwhile, so they do find a little consolation prize. Kind of a weird place for his courier to be, but it was, hang it was hanging out there waiting to get enough money to buy the demon edge so that he can finish MKB and have true perfect solutions against PA, more or less perfect, mm -hmm. if he couldn't blur constantly. So. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pressure in the high ground, V2 knows he can get away with it. Oh, he saw it running over there, okay, that's why. Oh yeah. Nailed yeah, they, they briefly saw it over by the secret shop and then uh, they watched it just go right across. Roger was in good position. In fact, Roger again in a very nice position here as he immediately sees no one. No one will just hide away. But the leap forward here from B-Tune absolutely just slicing Dream into Rivets has all those knives. It's not looking great. The bash, can they finish up? No, there's going to be the egg. Three of them all grouped around this egg though. They don't seem to care. They don't have an imagined damage to do anything about this Guardian Angel as they go right back in after after. It's a triple kill now for V-Tune. They want more. Can they find it though is the question. As the rest of them just run right back into their fountain. Oh, they read that team fight so good there. Uh, they jump in instantly, uh, get a couple of pickoffs, and and they just call a game. Called. Wow. <laughs> There's no buyback on Jug. At the game just ended, and, and yep. if, with Jug being dead like that, that was minimum two racks, possibly more. Maybe a little bit of an early GG call, but really well played by Nobby. I, I, I think things were definitely a little bit sloppy in the, the mid game, but the laning stage went solid. Uh, they just didn't quite 